that was a music video. Thanks for watching. You got slapped. Well, hello world. Welcome to Comic Book News. Today we got a super special show for you, man. We have got just a very talented creative type with us today. I've got uh, a, a a pal. He wants to make he likes making comics, he likes making YouTube videos, and he asked to come on the show, talk about his stuff, and maybe ask a couple questions about YouTube and how you do this thing. So we're gonna talk to him. Um, he's my pal. Odin Boss, I want to bring him in right now. Welcome to the show. Odin, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, wait a minute. I've almost forgot our background. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? Good. Great. So, man, your name's Odin. Odin is a super cool name. And, and that's yeah. not all. Your name is not just Odin. It's even cooler than that. Your name is Odin Boss. Mm-hmm. And... As, as if Odin weren't enough of a cool name, like Odin is already the boss of the gods. So you're like, you're like the boss of the boss of the bosses. So that's pretty awesome. Odin. Mm -hmm. So you're on comic book news. Tell me what, do you like comic books? Well, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Tell me about comic books. Tell me what your favorite comic book is. Well, my favorite series, I don't know really have a favorite comic book. I do have a, a favorite comic book series, or the favorite comic book creator, and a favorite series. Oh. All right, I got, I have, so I'll, I can show you the, the two first books of it. Yeah. They, it's made by Dave Pilkey, Captain Underpants and Dog Man. Oh man, those are great comics. I've heard of both of those. I know that those are super popular and are just great comics, man. Those are super fun to read. Yeah. What's your favorite? Why do you like them so much? Mm, well, they're, they're funny and I just like, and I like to read that, them. And I really, because, yeah. Yeah. And so does and that they're make you... pretty funny? They're funny. They're super funny. That's an understatement, Odin. They're really funny. Um, but hey man, does that make you wanna like do they make you wanna make your own comics and draw your own stuff? Well, yeah, because that's good because I brought my comic that I made. Oh wow, I was hoping you might do something like that. Show me what yeah, you got. Sure. The blank comic book notebook. Okay, so you bought, you got that, and you draw your comics inside this thing, and it's yeah. already got the panels. Super yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh man. I, I drew it. I finished it. I didn't get all the pages. But uh huh. I kind of finished, but I did kind of finish it. I was really bad at, it and I didn't really have a lot of, of like marks when I first started making it. But then it got better because, oh, yeah, I have all these, like, weird, weird things that I did when I thought I wanted to go done because, it's like, you're going to read this. You're going to be like, what? Yeah, you're so early stuff. You know, a, lot of, a lot of cartoonists, and that's what we call – cartoonist is another name for a person that draw, writes and draws their own yeah. comics. Like, yeah, you what is it? Yeah, what it says is the nunchuck shot everybody so the end, but it's not actually all done. See, there's more stuff. Actually, oh. that's, that's there. I actually do have a epilogue. Yes, an epilogue. Uh -huh. And why don't why don't I have one? Yeah, because what's an epilogue? I don't know. That's a big word. What does that mean? Oh yeah. Well, epilogue means it's just thing after the main. So I did. I'll, I can read the epilogue. This epilogue is get all our books by Odin at at www.odinsbooks.com. Yeah. Is that your website? Yeah. Do you have a website, odinsbooks.com? No, I'm gonna make. But okay. I'm actually gonna make one. And then it says like it's this some 
some examples. Day, that's a that's one called Day, and then the Water Movie. That's another one. Okay, man, that sounds that sounds. It's really hard. It's a little hard to see what's what you're drawing there because the marks are kind of light on your comic. But yeah. uh, man, I can't wait. I hope some. Someday soon when we can visit each other again, maybe you could bring some of your comics over me or maybe I'll go visit you and, and your family and we'll take a look at those comics. Yeah. Sounds really good because, man, boy, Odin, do I love comic books. And yeah. I love talking about comics with people like you. So thank you so mm -hmm. much for making time to come on the show. Yeah. Okay, so you also do some other stuff. You're a creative guy, man. You don't just make comics. Mm -hmm. You also- I actually make stop motion. I, I actually have a stop motion video channel thing. It's not you a do? I have a stop motion app on my phone. Yeah. It's, I can show you it. It's the well, I'll tell you the truth. Wait a minute. Let's. So I looked on your channel, and I uh -huh. only saw like this one video. Can we look at your video? I, I want to talk about your YouTube stuff and what you're doing on YouTube. Yeah, you, you can. See? You can see the video. Yeah. Okay, let's watch it together. Hang on a second. Uh, All right. Yeah. Let me yeah. See if I can. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. Let's check it out, man. This is, uh, guys, this is uh, Odin Boss. You got slapped. Yeah. Oh. Now I find this is this part is really interesting. And where is this in your backyard? Yeah. Okay. Is that your dog? Yeah, you can see Ozzy. That's my dog in the background. Okay, we'll let this go. We can keep talking about it as we watch it too. So you see, oh, we see your backyard. We see your dog. That's a cool dog, man. So what is you just got slapped? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't. That, it's it's I don't a funny understand. music video. It's a funny music video. It's your funny music video, right? Yeah. It's You made it up, right? You got slapped. It's something you yeah. made up. That's mm -hmm. very creative. Okay, you got some lighting issues. We can talk about lighting and when we talk about YouTube. I can help you with that. Okay. What I like about it, Odin, is that you picked a theme, you just got slapped, and you stuck with that, man. Like that is throughout this video. It's really clear the message that you're trying to put forth, and that's important on YouTube. Here's the message. You just got slapped. <laughs> Bringing it home. This is my favorite part. That was a music video. Thanks for watching. You got slapped. I think it sounds kind of like a song. Let's mm -hmm. see. Yes, it is a music video. Music video. Thanks for watching. See? You got this slapped. Is a music video. That was a music video. Thanks for watching. You got slapped. That was a music video. Thanks for watching. Oh, you yeah. Got you got slapped, buddy. I love it. I love it. And I can can I please have permission to use that little clip in my videos in the future? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm going to use it sometimes. Not every video, but I'm going to use it for sure mm -hmm. uh, because I think it's really cool and catchy. I like it a lot. Um, we're gonna, let's stop doing that. So now, so now we talked about the comics you like. We talked about the comics you make. We talked about the videos you make, right? So now it's time. I think it's time for um, a little section segment we call Odin asks. Odin, this is where you get to ask whatever you want, and I promise right. to give you an honest answer. Hit me. All right. So, 
How do you get followers? Yeah. You mean, how do you get like so much followers? You mean on YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay, because in my real life, that's a different story. It involves a lot of um, stuff that. Uh, anyway, on YouTube to get followers, the best way to get followers is this sounds really simple, but the best way is to make stuff people want to watch. Uh huh. That's really the answer. You know, there's a lot of people out there that'll tell you you gotta. I don't know, advertising, you got to social media, and you do got to do those things. You got to let people know about what you're doing. But the most important thing is that you're speaking from your heart about something that you love and you know, because when you do that, it shows and people want to watch it and people want to subscribe. Yeah. And then all my, the second question is what microphone do you use? I saw, I remember I saw the behind the scenes microphone. So what microphone because ah. I don't have the headset thing. Okay, so you want, yeah, you want a little. So I wasn't thing. working for my Minecraft video because I'm when I made the Minecraft video, it did my normal voice and then went, went like really quiet, like, uh -huh. and then my normal voice. Okay, well, let's talk about it. Let's look. Do you want to peek behind the scenes of comic book news? I've never done this before. Uh -huh. I've never done this. I've never done this. Um, on the air before, but let's take a look. Wait, a minute, let me see. Yes. Let me, let me try something here. I'm gonna. Oh, hey. So this is. I do have a green screen behind me, right? And that's that's how I make all the pictures and stuff. Yeah. And like, right? And and so 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 that's one of the tricks. And, and, and but what what I'll do now is I'll put that microphone. I'll put that. Uh, background back up and it's kind of cool because it lets me be wherever i want to be so i can be like in some crazy place i can be at the daily planet i could be in my favorite place to be in the world which is a comic book store um or man or i could be oh look at this this is a million comic books this is what a million comic books looks like Odin. Um, but i'm gonna go back to where i was to odin um and uh, give you a little peek. So we've got the green screen, right? So let me just, I'm gonna isolate myself for a second. We can still hear you. But but so if I pick, I'm gonna take my camera here and I'm gonna look, see, we're really in my garage. It's pretty mm -hmm. messy right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I do my work here. If you've ever mm -hmm. watched my show before, sometimes I look at comics and I have this thing I call the million dollar comics cam. This is the yes. million dollar comics cam. Have you watched my show before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did see it, but when I first saw it, it, it was it, it sounded kind of boring. But I'll try to watch. I might try watching it. Might sound actually kind of fun. It is kind of boring sometimes, unless you're really into like comic book stores. These are my lights that I use, and then and I've even got a little cool. It's pretty cool. I got a little remote control, and I can turn my lights on and off, and I can make them go up and down. I can even change what's called the color temperature, and that's pretty neat. But the, what you asked about was my microphone. Yeah. And uh, I use a, uh, I use one by this company called Audio Technica. Uh, but it's just a USB microphone that'll plug into um, your computer. And it's pretty neat. Most people, my pet, most people, when they look at these microphones, they talk into them like this, like they talk into this. But you're, in reality, you're supposed to talk into this part of the microphone, okay? See where the light is and stuff. Most people yeah. don't realize that. I see people on yeah. YouTube all the time that don't that don't do that. They talk into the wrong place, and I think that makes their voice sound a little bit funny. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna bring you back here. Let me bring you back on screen. All right. So okay. my next yeah. question is, how do you use green screen? I know that you you have an all green screen, but how do you get like the app that shows the green screen? Um, well, there's a lot of different ways to do it. There's a lot of different ways. Um, one, you need to use some software. If you use something like StreamYard, like I'm using right here. Oh, actually, software is going to be a, after the how do you use green screen um, question, it's going to be what software do you use? Question. Okay. Okay. Well, those things are all tied together. Those two questions are both tied together. I use two things. In the beginning... When I record my videos, I used to use something, um, a, a program called OBS, OBS. Oh. 
Okay, it's open broadcast studio. It's totally free, cool. and it's open and it's open source too. Do you know what open source means? No. Open source means that who the people that wrote this program, they just give it away, and they don't only just give away the program; they give away all the code that was used to write this program. Okay, yeah, so, I'm I'm probably gonna use that for my videos. I really recommend this OBS Studio. You can get it; it'll work on a Mac, it'll work on a PC. You can record things with it to your computer, but you can also stream live to YouTube if you want to do live shows. You can do all yeah. kinds of stuff. Look, I'll, here's how I put together the Odin intro for you. Let me see. I, I made a couple themes. You got slapped. That was a music video. Thanks for watching. You got slapped. Right, and I can, I can turn on or off these things, and I can turn on and off the different elements. I can turn off the background and on the background. And I can turn yeah. this on, this yeah. off. So that's that's probably yeah. what I would recommend. But I also use this thing that we're on right now. Now this is a new thing for me, Streamyard, and oh. it lets me do streaming. It lets me do really cool stuff like these little credits and stuff. Right, Odin mm. asks like that um yeah. so i like this too and i use this especially when i want to talk to a bunch of people and we want to do it live on the internet we do it this way and you can have chat from people and everything that's fun too so mm -hmm. and and you can use it for free too Streamyard is totally mm -hmm. free as well yeah. but if you want to use some of the fancier stuff like i do on this show you got to pay a little bit for it yeah, but then the what software do you use is the next one, but did you just answer that one? Yeah, yeah. Well, I use a couple of different things. I'm got actually, you know what? I use a bunch of different things to make my videos, okay? Because you, there's more things to do than just make the video for YouTube. If you want to be successful on YouTube, one of the most important things to use to do is to make thumbnail images, right? You know what that yeah, means? That's, you know what that's a, that, this is my... The next the question after that is, how do you choose your thumbnail? Oh, pff, great. All right. So let's combine those two questions and let's look at, I'm going to share my screen again. Okay. And I'm going to show you uh, a, a program that I use for making all my thumbnail images. Okay? okay. This is called, this is called the GNU image manipulation program. Okay. okay. Also known as by the, by its acronym, the first four letters is called the GIMP. All right. It's called GIMP. Okay. And GIMP is kind of like, you ever heard of Photoshop before? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, Photoshop is probably what most people use. That's a, it's a software program for making pictures. Um, oh. But you have to pay a lot of money. It costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars for Photoshop. Yeah. Again, this is open source. Remember, we just talked about open source. So this one is completely free Ooh. and open. Right? Yeah. So you want this. You want this. So let me, so I set it up. A YouTube thumbnail is supposed to be a certain amount of pixels wide and tall. So I got this thing set up to do 1280 by 700 pixels, right? This is my kind of my blank canvas. And if I want to, if I want to make a thumbnail, I'll go to my, I got a folder full of backgrounds and I might just pick, oh, I don't know, whatever I got on here. Let me see what I got. Anything good? Uh... I got something here. Okay, this is a great one. This is a great picture. And I want to do that. Let's say, oh man, I love Uncle Scrooge. I love comic books. This is a really cool image. I'd like to do a um, a thumbnail about that. But you know, it's always good to add some words. So maybe we come in here and we say, uh, maybe we put in uh, comic book news and i like that font because it's the one that i always use on my channel but i'll make it a little bit bigger but it's kind of hard to see white so maybe we'll maybe we'll outline it and we'll make a path and we'll go over to paths and then we'll, and then we'll switch over to black and then we'll stroke the path like that oh that looks pretty good that's a lot easier to read right oh yeah but maybe it could be better. So let's um, let's take that layer and let's uh, make it full size. And then we'll use a filter on it. I like these long shadow filters. So let's go. I got a oh. pre-shot here. Oh. It says comic news. I think 
That looks pretty neat. Yeah, all uh, right. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe we'll move this like this. And then we'll move this up here. But you know what? I think this needs something else. This could use one more little touch on those letters. I like to add this. People probably don't even notice it, but I like a little drop shadow. See that shadow behind it? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, li I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. So now we're going to adjust uh, this stuff a little bit more. And we're going to save that. And boom, we got a thumbnail, right? We can upload oh, yeah. this. In fact, why don't we make why don't we make the thumbnail for this episode right now? That will That'll be the thumbnail for this episode. Yeah, because I'm gonna actually watch this video after I do this. Totally, no. dude. So wait a minute. So let's put with Odin. Oh yeah. Let's center that puppy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll uh, we'll end up using that. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to work on this. I don't want to take up more time on the show right now because this is what uh -huh. you should do. You should do this on camera. You should do it off uh -huh. camera. But you get yeah. the idea. So uh -huh. we'll yeah. make we'll make the letters look more like this, and then we'll use this as our thumbnail. That's super cool. So, okay, uh, so, so thumbnails. So what else you got? So, how much money are you making? Oh, man, that's a pretty sensitive question. I don't know if I should talk about that because the IRS could... Well, what the heck? I'll talk. Um, I don't do this for money, Odin. Um, oh. In fact, I didn't make any money until about three weeks ago. Literally zero cents, not even one penny. I worked for a year and I made over 150 videos... Because before you can make any money, you need to get a thousand subscribers. Oh. Okay. And you need a but and you need more than just those subscribers. You need to make sure that your subscribers are watching your videos and they have to watch, I think it's something like 4,000 hours in a month on your channel to even allow you to make one penny. Okay, that's Okay, so that's, very that's a lot, right? That's yeah. a lot. So what? And then even when I do, even when I did monetize, you know how much money I'm making in a month? No, how much? I don't know for sure yet, but we're talking about not much money at all. Not even one hundred dollars. Not even. I mean, I'll make more than that sometimes, but I'll, most of the times it'll be like five, ten dollars. And we're talking about. Many, 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 many hours of my life that I spent making this stuff, right? Oh. So it's not, for me, it's not really about the money. I make my money doing other stuff. It's oh. more about having fun and talking about comics and yeah. talking about what, what I love. All right. So the next question says, what made you so interested in comics? That's, a, that's the next question. Oh, man, that's a great question. Um, well, how old are you, Odin? I'm like seven, like yeah. seven, probably I like almost seven and a half. Almost seven and a half. So I probably started reading comics a little bit, you know, probably when you did. Maybe when I first started learning how to read or right before I learned how to read. And I love to read the, the comic strips in the newspaper. My dad got oh. the newspaper every day. And I loved Garfield and I loved... A one called Bloom County, and I love one called Farside and Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah, have you heard of Calvin and Hobbes? No. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. I I know that one. And then the Far Side, I think Hobbes just actually showed me that. So, uh huh. Uh, I'll yeah. bet you. You need to it look into like the. Of, it doesn't really do a story; it's just a bunch of like jokes. Yeah. Jokes. That's, yeah. They're funny jokes, though, man. Those are far side is just one panel. They don't have like panels like in a comic book, no. but that, it's still a comic. But Calvin and Hobbes had panels and yeah. story and 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 man, I bet you'd really like that. Look, yeah, I, I know it. Should. I know. Oh, okay. It's awesome, right? Yeah. 
Well, that's one of those ones that is, that's been popular since I was your age or a kid. And, and, and in my opinion, it's probably going to be popular forever and ever because it's just, it's that good. All right. Now the last question is, did you, did you make any comics? Did you make any comics? Have I made any comics? Odin, the answer is yes. I've made comics. Oh. I've written and drawn comics. Um, oh. They're probably not ones your mom or dad want me to show to you yet. Maybe oh. when you're a little bit older, because there's some okay. there's some salty language maybe in some of them. Um, uh -huh. And they're not drawn very well because I'm really not a very good artist, and I didn't I didn't practice. I think oh. I could have been. I think I could have drawn really good comics if I practiced at it. Like if I worked as hard drawing comics as I worked on my YouTube channel, maybe they would have looked better. Uh huh. Um, is that it? Any other questions for you? No. Okay, man. Thank you so much, Odin, for being here, taking time out of your busy day during all of this crazy hectic stuff. I'm sure you must have a zillion things going on like, like all of us do. So thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Can you, can you stick around for a minute? I'm going to say goodbye to the, to everybody, but stay uh, on. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll come back and I'll talk to you when this is done. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Odin. Oh, brother, the future is looking bright. That was young Odin boss. He's the boss, man. He likes comics. He likes YouTube. Sounds like somebody who's going to be a buddy of mine in the future, and 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 he is now. He's a friend of my family and my wife and my kids, and we hang out together. We've gone on vacations together. This kid's got his act together. He's got parents that are really, uh, really love um, reading and fun stuff and fantasy and video games and all the kind of fun stuff that a kid really gets into these days. So Odin's having a great time, and he's digging into it, and he's. I, I I think I'm not sure, but I think he's got that comic hook in him, like I got when I was a kid, and uh, and and hopefully, who knows? Maybe we got a future cartoonist on our hands. I don't know. I don't want to put any pressure on anybody, but I sure hope so. Anyway, I I want to thank Odin. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you for liking, subscribing, etc. I'm also going to put a link to Odin's YouTube channel in the description. So I need every single one of you, and I mean every single one of you who watches this video to go to that link and click subscribe. You don't have to smash it. You can just gently caress it and subscribe to, to Odin's channel and click that little bell. We didn't even mention, he had mentioned before, he's got some videos that he hasn't even dropped. They're private videos, some documentary stuff he's working on about video games and Star Wars and other movies. And we need to support this kid and his stuff. So go out there and check it out. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm going to take you out with our brand new show outro starring none other than the boss. That was a music video. Thanks for watching. You got slapped.